Uh, hello everybody, um, and welcome to my next tutorial. Uh, sorry I never made a video in a while. As usual, I have basketball, but don't worry, that's almost finished. And then I've been learning some web programming. Um, some people are now paying me to make websites for them, so I have to devote a lot of my time for that. So, yeah, so I never really had time to make videos. So, um, in this tutorial, um, we're going to be learning about drawing graphics because all the stuff we've been learning is pretty boring. Like, what's a game without graphics, right? So, I decided to implement graphics. Now, um, graphics um, is a very broad subject and it can be confusing, um, especially for first time people that are starting off in game programming. And, um, like, the, it can like for me when I was learning SFML um, from going from STL and Allegro and then I went to this the drawing stuff like some of the functions were kind of confusing the grasp so but they're they're really easy once you get it you just feel like an idiot once you like that you're confused about it but I'll, I'm gonna go through everything step by step with you um, there's probably gonna be like maybe three, four, five videos about um drawing shapes and stuff because there's so many things you can do to draw your shapes and that's what makes SFML so great because there's so much things to customize and stuff and you can do it in such an easy way. So um just like our first um my first tutorial um we declare these and we probably won't need the IO stream but I always include it. Um, so in the first tutorial, we created our window. But if you don't remember, um, just a quick refresher. Um, we create a render window. This is, um, makes us able to draw stuff to the screen. And this is the name of my window, so I named it screen. So now I'm declaring the video mode, and it's 800 pixels wide and 600 pixels high. And that's the um the 32 um bit color depth, and this is the title of our window, and I'll name it tutorial. And um in our second tutorial, I taught you about the game loop and the event loop, and it was based on events, and it wasn't a really in depth tutorial, so I'm gonna explain more about events later on. So um just like the second tutorial, and, and if you don't know what's going on, then I suggest you watch my early tutorials and then so we create our event and now our event loop so and don't worry like this will become second nature to you once you keep on using um, SFML uh, so then if event dot type is equal to SF event and I could have had this already remade, but I just want to type it out for you guys. So if you guys want to type it out with me, whatever. Um. So then screen dot close. And okay. So that is our event loop, and then so clear the screen and display the screen. So if we run this, so we got a blank screen. So if you don't got this, you can pause the video and look at the code. Okay, so now we're going to be learning about um, drawing shapes. Now let me run this program once more. Now one thing you have to know is about SFML. Some programming languages, um, if you know about coordinates and stuff, and you need to know at least a little bit of math in order to to do game programming. If you don't know even a little bit of math, then you're you're in trouble. You need to learn math. I'm sorry, but that's how game programming is. So in most programming languages, um, the coordinate zero zero, um, is at the bottom left. But in C plus plus, in most of the libraries in C plus plus, um, zero zero is at the top left corner, right? Uh, so then that's what you have to remember. So then. This would be zero zero, so and then over here, this would be um eight hundred zero, cause the x coordinate is at eight hundred and the y coordinate is at zero, and then this would be eight hundred six hundred and blah blah blah. So this might sound confusing, but don't worry, it really isn't. Okay, 
So then with drawing shapes, it's much like initializing a variable. So you can initialize a shape, like you can declare a name for it, just like you declare a variable. You do like that and then declares properties later on. Or you can declare it and then display the properties of it right then and there. So um, in order to create um, a shape in SFML, put SF and shape and then you name it and um it's basic it's straightforward just saying from the sf namespace and you're drawing a shape should be fairly easy to remember now i'm going to put this equal to sf shape colon colon rectangle okay so this might seem kind of long confusing but you're just basically copying this for the first part and then putting that you're drawing a rectangle because all you have to remember is that everything derives from the SF namespace and then you're drawing a shape which is a rectangle right so it basically it goes from it's like a hierarchy thing so this is the header of all things so this is SFML then you're drawing a shape and there's different types of shape and a rectangle is a shape so whatever you can think of it that way so then the um sh different shapes have different properties um for a rectangle um these are the properties so this x1 um y1 x2 y2 color outline and outline color now um you might be saying wow this is a lot whatever well, the good thing is that you do not need these last two ones. These last two, you don't need to fill them. If you don't put anything for them, it'll just set it as no. It'll just give it the default one. So, uh, let's get rid of this for now because we don't need that for now. So then, what is X1, Y1, X2, and Y2? Because some people might get confused by that. So, if I have a rectangle, okay? So right here um this top um, um left corner this one first 100 would be x1 and this would be y1 and then this would be um x2 and this would be y2 um, so if you set x1 to 0 okay so say this is 0 and you declare x2 to 10 it will draw a shape from 0 to 10 pixels across and then if you set um, y1 to 0 and you set y2 to um, to 10, then it will draw so 10 pixels across and 10 pixels down. And then um, what so what SFML will do is draw a point right here, then it will draw a point right there. And then once it draws the two points, then it will join them together to make the rectangle, right? So um, that's it's important to know how that works. Okay, so then now let's fill in some stuff for that so then now we want um to display it at the very top left corner so we like put a zero zero and we're gonna put this to 10 10 and for color i'm not gonna get in depth into it um you just put sf color and then the color you want to do so remember a hierarchy thing so at, this is sfml um you're choosing color and a red is a color so yeah and to display most things um, in SFML, you'll use the screen, the screen's name, dot draw, and then you'll put the name of it in here. So um, then I named it rect, so I'm drawing that. And if I look at the screen, uh, you see a red box at the top left corner. Now, um, as I said, there's um, more than one way to create this. So, if I wanted to, um, if I want to draw a different shape um, in the draw, I could easily put SF shape uh, rectangle. I wouldn't have to name it in this situation. I would just say I'm drawing a rectangle, and then I'll name it properties. So, I'm going to put this one at 50, 50 and then 250 250 just to make it longer and I'll make the color blue this time
and there's other ways to change the color don't worry this isn't the only way there's a more in-depth way so see I just drew a bigger rectangle and I just drew it in the draw method so if you want to like right as you're about to I'm in the draw method you can just draw a shape if you want to you don't also declare it and then say I I didn't have this and I just declared that later on in the program I could just put rect is equal to and then I would just declare it like that and um that's basically uh, how you would create a rectangle now let me check my time yeah I'm basically out of time so I'll continue this tutorial in my next video um hope you like this tutorial and I hope you subscribe so thanks for watching and bye